my why um, was born in November of 2014. My daughter Reese was stillborn, um, full term, double nuchal cord, um, and I noticed that her kicks were slowing down at the beginning of, um, or getting close to delivery, and I was told that that's normal. Um, but uh, after the fact, I learned that um, she was born with a double nuchal cord, cutting off her blood supply, um, and babies slow down when they don't have um, the blood that they need um, to conserve energy. And so I just need for the health providers to understand the importance of count kicking so that other families don't have to experience the tragedy that we have. So I've been active in the state legislation, um, passing stillbirth um, legislation for the state of Minnesota, and I really enjoy talking to um, change makers, whether that's health professionals or those working in um, the Minnesota Depart Department of Health, uh, talking about the importance of kick counting and the prevention of stillbirth, that uh, many don't understand how often stillbirth happens and that many of these stillbirths are preventable. Um, and so I find it um, very worth my while to have the conversations with those that are making the big changes um, so that the, the change can be st systemic rather than um, person to person. I would love to have every state funded um, so that Count the Kick materials could be disseminated um, statewide as well as um, national as well so that the education is in the hands of the providers and the expected parents and that it's common conversation to talk about stillbirth and its prevention.